tattoos. One which is a little bit secret. As soon as I became aware that there were boys and girls, I became aware that I was different. I was an ape. I could have been cast in Planet of the Apes with no makeup whatsoever. Hello gorgeous, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. And here we are in my brand new set, which looks very familiar if you watch Alanda Obsession, because you know, it's the same set, but you know, with more room and things. And look, I have a green screen and I have much more room to walk around. And the wall is now straight behind me, so I can do this nice depth of focus effect. So, so this is actually a show that I meant to record quite some time ago. And it's, I asked you guys to ask me anything. I did an ask me anything show where I said, any questions you have, you want to know more about me, because um, you know, it's, it's always about me, then uh, ask away. Well, I have some questions that you have written in, thank you very much, and I shall go through them. So let's get straight into it. First of all, from Leila223 asks, do I have any piercings or tattoos? Yes, I I do. Uh, piercings, only my ears. Tattoos, one which is a little bit secret. And the rest, all on my face. My brows are tattooed, my eyeliner is tattooed, and my lips are tattooed. However, I am considering a lot more ink, a lot more tattooing in future. Because I have some scars, um, you know I had weight loss surgery. So I've got scars on the back of my arms. There, there where is it? there. I think you've agreed they're not too bad. I think you've agreed they're not too bad actually so I thought they were going to really stand out but I don't think they're too bad. And with the spray tan you can't even see them so I may not have the, anything done about those. Magdalena Co writes, lovely Magdalena. Hi Magdalena. Says, um, hello lovely Danielle. How do you motivate yourself to strive for goals, i.e. weight loss? Thank you. It's a tricky one. So don't give up. I will push a rock up a hill forever if I think the goal is worth getting to. The problem I have with weight loss or I had with weight loss and I kind of still do, is that I also like food far too much and so I wasn't able to stick to that willpower. So while I kept trying, like a lot of people, I just yo-yo diet up and down, up and down, the same diet, same same three stone I lost about a hundred times. So I ended up having weight loss surgery. So it's just a little bit of a cop out, it may seem as a bit of a cheat, but you know, that's what it took for me to, I kept trying things until I found something that worked. And for me, it was a mini gastric bypass in Belgium. You can drop me a line about that. I help out with people who want to go through a similar procedure, so you're welcome to ping me on Instagram or my Facebook page if you wish more information on that surgery. So my advice is don't give up and keep trying until you find something that works for you. Okay, I'm not going to list everyone here because some of these are loads of you ask this same question. When did I know I was transgender? When did I know that I, you know, had these feelings? Uh, for as early as I can remember. Um, literally, as soon as I became aware that there were boys and girls, I became aware that I was different. Which really frustrates me when you see people saying, oh, we shouldn't teach this stuff in schools. Yeah, you should. You should teach people that this thing exists because I went all my childhood not knowing there was a name for what was wrong with me and it was deeply, deeply troubling. So, because I, I didn't know, nobody knew. It wasn't to, children weren't made aware of it. It was all keep that secret. Boys and girls only. We don't mention any of the dark stuff. It's just people, you know? And it wasn't a lifestyle choice as some religious fanatics will have you believe. It was something that I had no control over and was deeply unsettling. Well, Rosani Designs Masquerade says, okay, shoe selections, easier or harder? Ha. Huh. Hmm, kind of both. Now here's the thing, if you're if you're being a blokey bloke, it's pretty simple. <laughs> shoes, and they're kind of, shoes or boots, or trainers, that's pretty much it, okay? With girls shoes, you've got a wide range of choice of straps, of toes, of buckles and heels and soles and uh, so many to choose from. However, as I have quite large feet, that does limit my choice somewhat. A, much as I love Manolo Blanc, can't get them in my size. Boo! But generally harder. However, I love shoes. So, you know, it's a pleasurable thing. First little problem right there. Beth Love writes, Hi Danielle, I was wondering what your experience was with hormone replacement therapy. With hormone replacement therapy. Mood swings, voice change and so on. Huge fan by the way. Hi, thank you very much Beth and watch your videos as soon as the notification. So what is my experience with? Well I'm doing a separate video on transition as it happens and I'm recording it like like right after this soon. My experience is hormone therapy is is it sucks. You go through puberty again and if you stop taking hormones and take them again you go through puberty again and you have all kinds of emotional craziness. You put a knife in the fork drawer. Oh my god it's the end of the world. You get really triggered at everything. So it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. 
crazy and a horrible time. Changes are no more body hair, or at least or what you do have becomes fuzz. I was an ape. I could have been cast in Planet of the Apes with no makeup whatsoever. I was a very, 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 very hairy individual. Voice didn't change, so hence why I speak like this. Yeah, pain is real. Rich Pauls asks, what is my favorite food? Pizza. My favorite food is pizza and curry and Chinese and almost anything I can put in my face, especially if it had a face. I quite like meaty things in my face. That's getting, that's going in the wrong direction. Big Mouse Design writes, when are you happiest? Oh, okay, mate. I was literally gonna say when I'm doing this because I absolutely love recording YouTube videos. I love being a YouTuber. I love these sorts of questions. I love talking to you, it's amazing. So this makes me extremely happy. I'm also really shallow, so when I'm spending money, that makes me really happy. I love driving my car. I absolutely love traveling. Not even the destination. You know, if I've got somewhere to go, like a few hours in the car or a long airplane journey, oh, that's bliss for me. Her music is on, I got a Kindle. No contact with anyone or anything. It's just me and the things. Love that. I love road trips. I love travel. So that makes me very happy. Melissa McQueen writes, if you could go anywhere in the world right now, what are your top three destinations? Italy. I love, love, love Italy. Rome in particular, fantastic. California, Anaheim. I love Southern California. Love Anaheim. I'd love to go there right now and be, yay, love that place. Orlando, safe bet. But mainly because of the theme parks. I love Walt Disney World and Universal Studios and the theme parks. And I quite like Orlando too. Bit of a, bit of a surprise one. Thailand. I really like Thailand. So now, now I'm in four places. But I really, I loved, I was, I was in Thailand earlier this year and it was amazing. Liter literally left a bit of myself there. If you know what that means, you know what that means. Helen Duggan writes, what is the weirdest thing that has ever happened to you? Hmm. <laughs> so this is like a perfect setup for another video. The time I may have been abducted by aliens. That's a video coming up really soon. Was I, was I, was I abducted by aliens? Have to watch the video and find out. I know I'm not crazy. iSchool writes, how do you laugh off the hate comments? By not caring. Seriously, I say this to anyone, why would you care about someone that hasn't got the guts to say things to your face? If somebody has to hide behind the anony anonymity of a keyboard and a <laughs> comment, who cares what those idiots say? The fact that you've wound somebody up enough that they have to take time out of their life to come and leave you comments? You're doing something right. Well done. Bravo. And that's the end of my quick question, ask me anything show. If you have any more questions, drop them in the comments below and maybe I'll do a follow-up video a little bit later on after I get more comments. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, you know what to do. Thank you so much. Comment, like, share, subscribe, etc. Popping up over there is the last video I put out and below that is the one YouTube thinks you should watch next. Sometimes it's the same one, it's their fault, not mine. Love you very much. See you all soon. Bye.